Helldivers, Liberty Day is coming and Halloween is so close. We could see a new major event, the classic Helldivers one armor set and possibly a new enemy. Not going to say the Illuminate yet because we don't really know, but anything is literally possible. Let's deep dive into this from the leaks to major orders, but we do know already what we are somewhat predicted to get. So grab a hot cup of Liberty and let's dive right into the video. So one thing we know we are getting officially is a new war bond. I won't go over this completely, however, it does look bloody awesome. Gives me Chaos Diver vibes with the red color, and also this looks like a Star Wars Imperial Officer inspired armor set, which is really cool. Check it out after this video if you haven't already, because it is really awesome. Now, I want to look over what did Helldivers won't get on Liberty Day previously, because there is a lot that's been teased by the developers and recent leaks. If it's classic armor from Helldivers 1 or new missions in general that has been leaked, this will give us an idea of what we can expect on Liberty Day, additionally to what we know we're getting already. In 2016, Helldivers 1 got the Constitution Rifle, which is the bolt action rifle we have seen recently teased in leaks. More on that later in the video. The Liberty Cape, a Community Cape and a Developer Cape. 2017 Heavy Strafing Run, Launcher Turret and Thunder Smoke Round. So some Stratagems which is nice to see. 2018 the MG42 Machine Gun, Planet Difficulty such as Exercise in Fertility, The Definition of Insanity and Level 15 The Inner Circle of Hell. These difficulties sound really insane honestly. Imagine, okay, imagine a super duper hell dive. Man, I'd be literally crying for democracy. 2019 there wasn't really much and then 2024 present day which is just around the corner so it seems there is a variety of which we could receive what it will be though is unknown at the moment however what we will look at next will help us predetermine what we could possibly receive on liberty day one thing we know right now in game is there has been hints at the automaton legion as you know they have been crafting new armor plating if that's for the jet brigade the iron legion just different bots in general which suggests after the most recent major orders we could see more bot variations if anything coming on Liberty Day. So far even though there has been hints in game regarding the Illuminate, blue beams of light being seen by players and the Ministry of Truth talking about them and even the major orders such as the dark fluid mission hinting at advanced technology and you know a massive black hole that just appeared out of nowhere that we created. Thank you Super Earth you just killed us all. However, other than this, there has been no indication as of yet if the Illuminate will enter the game at any point in time. We have seen content sneak into Helldivers 2 without our knowledge, and we have also seen blue beams of light come out of nowhere, killing players literally randomly. If you take a look at this clip, you can see what I mean. If this was a bug, surely the guys at Arrowhead Studios would address this, but they have not. A lot of players have said this could be a glitch, a bug, or just straight up ricochet, but you tell me, it doesn't happen to every player, but yeah, randomly sometimes this just occurs. Many though are signifying the arrival of a new faction to come. Now these bad boys, they use very advanced tech and are known to use energy weapons. I call them space wizards. Yes, space wizards. Now the resemblance of these blue beams operated by the Illuminate in Helldivers 1 backs up this theory. Do you think this is a glitch or have Arrowhead been teasing us this whole time, you know, the arrival of the Illuminate? Drop a comment and let me know. Johan Pilstead, the CEO, did refer to this in a kind of playful tweet, further rising speculation even more. He's done the same with the mechs and also a lot of other in-game content, such as new bug variants, basically calling it propaganda and then, yeah, them, them just entering the game. So yeah, you tell me, I, I think it's right in front of our faces. Referring back to the Meridia event and the Dark Food missions in general, the gloom is closing in and eventually we will see more enemy types drawing closer to the black hole, which as I said before, we Helldivers could just come knocking with a ton of Terminates. And I'm sure the Illuminate 
won't be happy about that. Regarding those variants with the gloom, this could have relation to the new planet modifiers that the game developers have been working on. They said this here just before the escalation of freedom update. I'm currently working on a planetary modifier that will see new lethal variants of some of our exciting bug spawns. I'm pleased with how they are turning out and I think they will present a unique challenge for the Helldivers. And if you don't know already, this is what the gloom is for to create basically new bug variants as time goes on. Like the Acid Charger, of course, came recently into the game. And also there was a Bold Charger leaked ages ago. This is what it looks like if you have not seen it before. So I'm guessing the gloom, as time goes on, is going to be responsible for a lot of mutated bugs. Does that scare you? Because it sure does scare me. Just imagine a charger the size of a bold titan. Doesn't that make you want to cry? A bold charger, man, a bold charger. Hell nah. No, I don't want that. Of course, the devs said we have control over the narrative. So it's down to us how the story plays out from the major orders and our decisions, which I really love. And since it's a live service game, I think that makes Helldivers 2 so much more appealing and engaging, knowing us, the players, have basically full control. But the devs still have plans, meaning they will still implement their own decisions from time to time to keep the game flowing and, of course, fun and exciting. However, we do know from the leaks and everything so far, that is possible we could get a few different things such as a new mission i interrupt this video to say if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe for managed democracy and you will help a mexican helldiver get free housing support on super earth Right here, a new leak emerged from Iron Sights. Hive Scanner Objective. Your goal is to manually place a hive scanner in a designated location to scan an underground hive. This may change in the future. And then you can see some sort of icon related to the mission objective. And I'm guessing that's also a stratagem related to the mission. So this could be a new mission entering Helldivers 2 on Liberty Day, which I can't wait for. Missions and progression is in my eyes what I think keeps players retained and playing for a long period of time. Or even maybe in the future, we don't know the exact times these will show up in game, but normally if they are in the files, they aren't long away. Drop a comment and let me know, are you excited for new missions? Because I sure am. Other than this, it's likely we will get a Helldivers 1 Classic armor set with the Bolt Action Rifle, the Constitution, which we had a leak yesterday relating to this from Tier 5 NPC. If it's free, I have no idea. If it isn't though, what in the managed democracy is that? It's Liberty Day. Free Liberty, free classic war bond. What more could a Helldiver want? Tier 5 NPC, micro content update. Hello everyone, it's been a while. I hope you're all doing great on this Wednesday. Here's a small content drop you might get along with your DSS upon completion or more potentially for Liberty Day. And then he shows the image of the rendered armor, which I think looks really cool. Protects perk, 50% chance to not die when taking lethal damage, prevents all damage from bleeding if chest hemorrhages. A bolt action medium pen maxim rifle with a bayonet on it. What more do you need to charge at your enemies when you run out of ammo? You know what? I really like this classic armor set more than the one you get in game, you know, the default one at the moment. I have no idea really why, but I really like it. I want it. Friendly reminder that anything shown here is bound to change at any given moment prior to public release and must never be considered as final until publicity accessible. So yeah, don't take everything straight up for what it is because things can be changed last minute or, you know, just be delayed. So yeah, take everything with a pinch of salt. However, the leakers are really goddamn good at what they do and usually it's not so long after things are leaked that they actually enter the game. We could maybe also see an in-game event if it's fireworks going off on planets or our super destroyers in space, maybe a visit to Super Earth. I mean, that would be really cool. Literally anything could happen. I mean, it's endless. The possibilities are literally endless. Even some different planets, different biomes, since we saw a leak ages ago. And to me, does that not look like an Illuminate homeworld? But the facts remain. It's showing us more or less a new war bond, a classic armor set and rifle from Helldivers 1 possibly a new enemy, major event, and missions. We will just have to wait and see how it okay? We will have to wait and see. I'm just pumped, I'm excited. You can tell because I'm talking too fast, but um, yeah. 
I think I need to calm down. Now, we can actually predict when content comes into the game based on previous time frames. We saw the Factory Strider on April 2nd this year, and that leaked two months prior around February, April time. The Democracy Space Station was first leaked around March, April time, and we are only seeing its appearance now in the most recent major orders. Not only that, but there's speculation it could be finished by Liberty Day. So this was a good six month time frame before we saw its appearance in Helldivers 2, from the leak emerging to what's happening right now in game. Now, the Illuminate was first leaked around eight to nine months ago, which were just models, so very early designs, but not so long after, as each patch and update came out, we saw more arise. From the Illuminate ghoul animations to tripods, which to me, in such a short span of time, a lot of progress was made. Which begs the question, are these guys being worked on right now, or are they waiting for the right time to release the Illuminate. Or it could just be, as every update comes our way, new files enter the game, and actually, these have been worked on for some time. I mean, it's such a big event, okay? You know, such a major event, so I wouldn't expect them to, you know, be done within about six months and go, hey, we're gonna release them. And even if it was done for about, you know, a year or so, they could be waiting for the right time, you know, the right major orders to actually release them into the game. So in conclusion, it's very possible with everything, we will get a free classic armor set and the rifle from Helldivers 1, a new official war bond that was also shown today, and some sort of event on Liberty Day. Everything else is just hearsay, like missions, biomes, enemies, but I think everything links up pretty well time frame wise. And with the Jet Brigade, armor plating the bots have been working on, the gloom as well, we could see more new bot variants and bug variants come our way. That is more likely to happen than anything, you know, getting some armor, weapons, some missions, a little event or, you know, some major event, but nothing quite significant than, you know, the Illuminate coming to the game. But the Illuminate do seem like they're ready to enter Helldivers 2, so it's just a matter of if they're going to enter Helldivers 2 and when. Thank you so much for watching. I am so, so grateful for your time. You Helldivers are legends. Until next time, Go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy, and I will see you in the next one.